Greetings everyone, especially you who take offense in the nature and adventure. I'd like to introduce you to the best scenery ever in Rwanda. It might be your first time to witness the beauty of the northern province of Rwanda. Even though you may have been there, I guess you still wish to go back. Describe Limited Company in the partnership with Beyond the Gorillas Experience Company brought you what was dubbed a first time experience on the northern scenery of Rwanda. Hello once again, I would like to present you Emma Wayne from UK and Matt from Germany who we took to the best place and admitted not to have been expected the beauty they saw. What are you waiting for? Serve your curiosity for the African natural beauty, especially the beauty of a thousand hill country. Don't sit still, grab your phone and reach out to BGE at this number and describe at this number. Here we go. Enomochiri Sunday, Saturday 21st September 2019, early 9 am. We are at Chimihurura Kigari. Visitors are ready and prepared for a two day touristic trip in the northern province of Rwanda, which keeps plenty of mysteries and attractive natural topography. We may define many, but our purpose today is exploratory tour in Musan's town, water travel along the twin lakes Burera and Ruhondo, and the main destination is the crater lake at the top of Research Volcano. It means that we have to go hiking to reach the top of a volcano. This is the main purpose of this trip. Emma and Matt, our visitors, Miss Conscience de Gede from BGE, the driver and I who is already baptized the name Cameraman. <laughs> now we are leaving Kigad Sumusans in a Silver Toyota Land Cruiser VX provided by BGE. A two and a half hours drive was very interesting up and down the thousand hills of the northern high topography. Inside the car, the team is familiar exchanging interesting talks about the nature of Rwanda. It is so interesting. Musan's town is found chaotic and noisy as usual. The calm and forth movement of people, their voices mingled with the vehicle sounds. This is the ambience of the northern main town. Emma and Matt are taken to hotel. They are being shown the room where they are to spend their night. Then now, it is time to go for the town tour. Our tour in the north is hosted by Beyond the Gorillas Experience Company. We first of all have to go to the office to declare credentials and confirm our tour. From here, now we start our street tour around Musan's town. We are going to the different places exploring the town from one street to another, to the market to different shops, to Gorohirani National Stadium, and our tour guide has a lot of job to explain each and every single thing that seemed unfamiliar to the guests. Mention the role of this and that and what it means in the Rwandan culture. The street tour is very interesting. It is now 12 o'clock. Guests have to return to the hotel for their lunch. But remember, after the lunch, we are going to the Twin Lakes. It is now 2 p.m. top. The car is ready and so is the team. Emma and Matt sitting in the middle press and the guide in the front passenger seat, we are able to exchange talks as she has to explain almost everything across the road towards the lakes. It is a 45 minute ride to the Twin Lake, Burera and the Rondo. We are represented the biggest and eldest of Rwandan hydroelectric plants that produces the maximum of the Rwandan electrical power. That is Naruka power plant which you can see by a huge pipeline that makes it possible for the Lake Urera to pour into Lake Ruhondo. And the speed of water to the turbine gives kinetic energy which is then transformed into electrical energy. Visitors are enjoying the fresh air and orchestra of different species of birds in the forest around the Twin Lakes. But we have not to spend a lot of time here, as this lake Urera seems to be abandoned, no activities going on and is protected by the army. We are now driving backwards to the most visited part of the Twin Lakes, which is Lake Ruhondo. A lot of people on the shores pack the motor the canoe and not motored ones, small canoes that kids always paddle along with from one shore to another on their way going back to school, and traps and fish nets for fishing and so on. We are all loaded into the boat and start sailing now. The view is cool and the move is pleasant. Despite the noise of the engine, but the wind that blows differently to the movement of the boat makes the lake tour very amazing. We are now heading to the small island. At this island, we are to experience a small hike, 
but our visitors Emma and Mart are holding a small discussion with each and every people we meet and then pausing occasionally to capture the nice lake background pictures. The sundown catches us on the top of this isle. We are now capturing golden pictures and a very beautiful view of the sun sinking down into the volcanic mountains. It is way interesting. We are now heading back to where we left the car. It is the end of the day one trip. How is the mood of our visitors? Even better than I thought it was going to be. Yeah. yeah, it was amazing. The view is incredible. Everybody that you meet is so nice. I'm really surprised and happy. I didn't really know what to expect, but it was so much better than anything I'd expected. I think, yeah, I mean, the environment is just so beautiful. Everybody's really friendly. We saw loads of cool things. And this marks the end of our today's tour. I hope you're not gonna miss tomorrow's hiking, and me too can't wait for it. Good morning everybody, we are on 22nd September 2019, early at half past 6 am. Visitors are ready outside the hotel, the car and the team is ready too. We are ready to drive to Chiniji, hope you are also ready. We are heading to the site of Volcanoes National Park. This is where we are buying visiting permits and declare our documents. You can see the place where Quita is in an event takes place and it is a ride of 30 minutes from Musanza town. We are now heading to Visoch Volcano. Emma and Matt can see volcanoes in front of them, but they have no idea what hiking them is like. As it was their first time to visit volcanoes in the northern province in general. At the bottom of Bisochi Volcano, visitors are being given some footwear fit for the hiking and some package for lunch. Now, the hiking starts at 8.30 am. It is started with a simple movement in crowd where everyone is fresh and committed. The first session, which takes around 10 and 15 minutes, was dubbed a warm-up. Matt was very consistent and determined to reach the very top of the volcano. Fresh, yeah. yeah, it's warm but it's not. Yeah, we're gonna finish. The team of 38 tourists with very many tour guides was stopped for a while to get behavior conditioned by the soldiers. Whenever you visit this place, bear this in your mind. The volcano forest contains different kinds of animals such as buffalo, gorilla and many others. You should pay your attention and avoid speaking loudly. This forest also needs clean liners, don't dump anything in there. Remember that hiking volcanoes requires fitness. Whenever you feel any heart related issue or you start losing breath, please stop by where you are and let the guys know your problem. And the condition of the hiking says that when it reaches 1 pm while no one of the tourists reaches the top, the hiking is immediately cancelled and everyone returns down. So let's get started. We are entering the thick tight volcano forest. The real hike starts. The day is a little sunny and everyone shows signs of being so warm that they cannot keep covered in their sweaters and jackets, but they had been told that the weather is not the same at the top of a volcano. The way to the top is just a narrow path created with people and animals' footprints through tight bushes. Some paths are very slippery and when it rains it is not easy for the land to dry away due to the thick volcanic forest. You can feel how tough it is to be stuck in mud and sleeping over rocky stones and tending to fall back. It is awesome. Some people are being stuck and get left behind, while others, including our focal points, Emma and Mart, are athletic and manage to move in a front team. The middle of the journey to the crater wreck is very cold and leads to shivering and skin goosebumps. It is cold here to the extent that water carried in a bottle becomes too cold to drink. The wind is cool and the environment is silent, which motivates the hikers and empowers their strength. As you can see, the first team reaches the top. It is now 25 past 11 am. Matt and Emma are part of the first team. Except me, the cameraman. Who else can see their excitement? They are so ecstatic about the crater lake, which everyone had in mind when climbing up the mountain. Bisochi Crater Lake is a big round lake at the top of Bisochi Volcano. This lake marks the physical boundary between Rwanda and DRC. As one side of the mountain is landlocked to Rwanda, whereas the other side is part of DRC. And the notice warns people of not to try to swim in the lake, nor try to cross the DRC border unless they possess a migration permit. People are now chilling at the top of Volcano, enjoying the fresh cold air current. Everyone is taking selfie photos and videos, trying to keep unforgettable moments. Others are having their lunch package, while others are lying in the healthy cold grass to feed the moment. We are now 45 minutes at the top of Volcano. 
and then it is time to start descending. Some thought it to be easy, but it looks even more challenging than going up. The path is still slippery and atmosphere starts changing with the sign that it is likely to rain. People are moving slowly and silent, not because they are following the condition, but they are apparently exhausted. A very bad looking thunderous atmosphere appeared and people increased their moves so that the rain could not catch them up in the deep forest. It starts raining a little, Emma and Matt are about 15 minutes to reach down where the driver is waiting for them. It is raining on us but our visitors don't bother as they are feeling it as a chill. They enjoy the movement in the Piratram field. This looks very romantic. It is now 40 past 2 pm. We are at the very beginning of the mountain. Emma and Matt have to hand over the boots and drop back to Musan's town. We need to pass over the office of Beyond the Gorilla's experience to extend our gratitude. How was the trip in general and what was your first time in the northern Rwanda ride? Very good. I've, we've been on a few trips around Rwanda but this is the best one for me. It was uh, really, really enjoyable. We saw some very different things. A lot because of the volcanoes we got to see one side and also the other side and we see many different things. I would definitely uh, recommend Beyond the Gorilla's experience to everybody. I think like the, even the driver was perfect. Uh, and, and the service was brilliant, everybody was so nice, so friendly, our guide was absolutely brilliant, she knew so many things, told her lots of uh, interesting facts, uh, yes. and everything worked really well, it was very well organized. After taking the group photo for the souvenir, it is now marked the end of a first time experience on the northern scenery of Rwanda. We thank Emma and Matt, our documentary models, we thank Conscience, our tour guide, we thank our driver, and we strongly thank Beyond the Gorilla's Experience Company the best in travel companies and we thank you who is watching this. Let's be together on another travel we are having soon. Peace and love.